Hey friends, tonight we are hanging out at Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party 2024 and I am so excited! I'm gonna go around the park and show you all of the new things this year along with how I like to do it as a little personal guide in case you plan on coming to the party yourself. So I figured I'd make a little video sharing all my experiences with you. We're gonna ride some rides, eat some food, and have a spooky Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party kind of night. Anywho's let's go do this mickey's not so scary halloween party goes on select nights from august to october and it is so hot out today's august 13th and it says it is 90 degrees on the magic kingdom but it feels like 103 and i'm excited i'm excited for the halloween season to be here Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party is a separate ticketed event. They close down the Magic Kingdom uh, at 6 p.m. And if you don't have a ticket, you have to leave. But if you do have a ticket, you get to stay. And it goes on from 7 p.m. till midnight. But you do get in the park as early as 4 o'clock. And it costs anywhere from $119 to $200 a night. But there's a lot of things that you can only do at a party. They have trick-or-treating all around the park. So you get tons of candy. Some really cool, rare meet and greets with characters. Some some ride overlays you can only do during the party and then you have the boot to you parade the fireworks and it's so amazing and like I said I can't wait to share all my experiences with you and just have a spooky good time we are all checked in for the party and I got my wristband and my map for 2024 I'm excited there's a lot of good food items exclusively for the party tonight we're gonna try some of them and then look at all this entertainment Hocus Pocus Villain Spectacular is gonna be three times they have the Boo to You Parade twice the Not So Spooky Spectacular those are the fireworks and a lot of cool uh, character meet and greets and tons of trick or treat areas so I think we're gonna head on in head on in we're going to make our way to our first treat stop, which is to the right as soon as you walk in, once you get your wristband. And I'm excited to get your little bag to do all the trick-or-treating. And there's usually characters along this way, too. Thanks! Right. Yay! Aw, oh, thanks, guys. So Have nice a great day. You. Hey, nice shirt, man! Yeah, look at this! Aw, I'm so excited! Our first treat. Oh, our first bag. Let's boo this. And now we get to get our first treat. This is great. And I'm loving all, oh, is that Corella up there? Holy moly. Oh, they're giving out full size M&Ms here. Oh, they're the mega M&Ms. Wow, they ain't playing. Trick or treat. Peanut butter. Yo, this is so exciting. I love that it's still spooky during the day right now. I'm wearing my Gracie hat and Corella's here. What? Well, happy for you that you get it all up here. <laughs> yes, next time, a little coat. Mm. <laughs> to add. Well, Do you like my hat? Do I? My dear, it's as if... Do you have Dalmatians? Oh, I do. Tell me more about them. Oh, I have a... I love Dalmatians. Oh, a little too much, maybe. No, 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 no. Oh, yes, you can only just love Dalmatians more and more. Adding Corella to the front of the park was such a great addition. And I was so excited to show her my Gracie hat. And also, look, I have a new uh, collection coming out, a spooky collection. Look at this. It's me and Gracie kind of running away from all the different monsters and ghosts. And I think this is so cool, but it comes out at the end of the month. I'll put a link in the description. And now I think we just wait around uh, until the party actually starts. Or maybe we'll get in line to go see some characters. Like I mentioned before, the Magic Kingdom is going to be closing at 6 p.m. And if you don't have a ticket, you have to leave. And they have it roped off, so they're checking wristbands. But if you are here for the party, you can actually get in line to meet some of the rare characters at 4 o'clock. Like Jack and Sally are meeting right now, and I think the wait time's like 55 minutes. But I think we're going to head maybe uh, back to Fantasyland to start. I just got back from my trip to California. I went out there for D23 and I was going to make a video talking about all of the announcements coming to the parks, but the fun never stops and I got off the plane and came straight to Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. But eventually I plan on coming out and talking about the cool things we have to look forward to, the announcements and things that I'm excited most for. One of the new meet and greets this year is Maribel in Encanto, and they're actually meeting on the side of Cinderella Castle. And uh, the, the party doesn't start for at least another hour. Hey, how are ya? It doesn't start till seven, but uh, they already lined up. Like you can actually meet the characters now and save yourself some time. And it only looks like a maybe 35, 40 minute wait. 
trust me, being the newest character meet and greet, later on this is probably gonna get very, very high. Look at that. I like it. Oh wow! Oh look at oh and it's a Gracie! Oh you guys can I put it in the video? Oh look at this guys! Oh I love it. It's my shirt and you're dressed up as a little Gracie girl. Ghosts of honor. Oh, here it is. Has been cast. And at seven o'clock, the Magic Kingdom will transform for Mickey's not so scary Halloween party. I decided to start the night off with trying some of the special Mickey's not so scary Halloween party treats. They have sweet and spicy beignets, berry and cayenne dusted beignets with coffee chocolate sauce, and then they have a chocolate caramel tart. A chocolate caramel tart. I like the way I said that. Uh, Five dollars and seventy-nine cents, and then six ninety-nine. I got them both. Look at them, they're looking pretty good. I like these beignets. I'm not too sure how I'm gonna feel about these spicy beignets. The berry and cayenne, it's like all mixed together. It's one dusting, but I'm gonna go right in. I'm gonna start off. Maybe I should shake it off a little bit. Look at those. Pillowy, delicious little beignets. These are the same ones as Tiana's, but with a little spice and sweetness to them and some coffee chocolate. Oh, I could taste the berry. I don't taste the cayenne yet, so that's a good start. It's not that spicy. The cayenne comes in a little bit after the berry, and if you dip it in with the chocolate, it kind of cuts it down even more. I like these. They're pretty good, but I think I like Tiana's ones a little bit better, just the OGs. This one looks good, though. Look at that. A nice little coffee tart with a tombstone. A nice little coffee tart with a tombstone. The cayenne is really delayed on those. And be careful of getting the powder on your fingers. I made that mistake and it burned a little bit. But we're going to dive into the uh, tart now. The tart is really, really good. And it's got a lot of caramel there on the bottom. And I like it. I think if I were to pick in between both of these, I'd probably go with the tart. Both of them are exclusive just for the party tonight. You can only get them during the party hours. And I'm glad I got to try them. Now, I gotta make sure I don't rub this cayenne pepper or powder in my eyes. Enough of the beignet business. I wanna start heading my way out and exploring the party. It just made the announcement, so it is officially Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party, and all of the day guests are already gone, and we have the whole park to ourselves, so we might as well get going. I'll bring the beignets with me. I was eating my beignets, and then I noticed Max is out doing eye to eye, so I'm running over. I was eating my beignets and I missed Max do eye to eye. Here he comes though. Wow. Cayenne beignets in hand. <laughs> Are you guys coming on next? Oh, nice. <laughs> Sad that I missed uh, Max. He dressed up as Powerline, doing eye to eye. He actually comes out there on that stage uh, right when the party starts. And I literally, I was like, "Oh, it's time! The party starting!" I was in the middle of eating the beignets, and I rushed over. And I'm glad I got to see him just a little bit. The trick or treat stands are all open. Ooh, trick or treat! <laughs> Hi. Would you guys trick or treat me? Of course. <laughs> thank you. Well, Have a great day. Thank you. Oh, thank you. What a score! <laughs> -na -na, 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 na Here I am! Rock you like a hurricane! I got a double scoop on my first try! Look at that! And this music is interesting! Oh man, now that it's happening, I'm like getting so excited. Even though I'm sweating because it's so hot out. <laughs> One of the popular items this year is gonna be this little Mickey popcorn bucket over here. Look at them, just sitting there. There's a pretty long line too for them. And I think there's a, a Sanderson sister one too. Wow. Now it's time to start staking out our plan for all of the shows. Usually I do parade, fireworks, and then the Hocus Pocus. But I think I'm going to go to the first parade since it steps off in Frontierland. I think that one's at 8.15. And then watch it there and then have like, the time that it takes to get down to Main Street uh, to explore around the uh, rest of the park. 
this way we can kind of maximize our time here. One of the biggest things a lot of people tell me when they come to the party is they didn't have enough time to get everything done. So I'm going to do the boo to you at 815. Then I'm going to try to catch the 905 ho uh, Hocus Pocus Villain Spectacular. And then at 10 o'clock is when the fireworks are. So boo to you, Hocus Pocus fireworks. I kind of like it. Another really cool new thing they have this year is the hitchhiking ghost from the Haunted Mansion. They usually have like a photo pass opportunity, but they actually have the ghost like as characters over in Frontierland. So I'm gonna head over there so we can see if we can see them and then find a nice little spot for Boo to you. It's getting very busy over here in Frontierland. I'm not even sure when the hitchhiking ghosts come out. I hope I can find them. And we gotta find a spot. Look at all these people lined up for the uh, parade. And the parade's not for another 30 minutes. So if you want to find a good spot, you got to come early. The Cadaver Dans are up there performing now. Oh, look at the Country Bears are out and they're dressed up in their Halloween outfits. Oh, I love this. Oh, Big Al. How you doing? You guys having a good day? Excited for the party? Oh, a nice little dance? Very fancy. Oh, you're awesome. You can't tell which which is which. That's the truth. All right, folks, it's time for us to mosey on while we sing your favorite song. Boys, huh? Which one is that? The last one. Another really cool character meet and greet is Abu. Well, uh, Aladdin and friends. Look at this. And I also think Jafar is doing a meet and greet here. Oh, well, here comes Aladdin. Oh, I thought that was Jasmine too. Wow, that's too cool. Look at him coming in. He sees Abu on the shoulder there. That's awesome. But where's Jafar? Jafar's got his own meet and greet over there. He hasn't come out yet. I think they rotate. So like uh, Abu and Aladdin come out and then Jafar comes out. But they do have a special dole whip and since we're over here, might as well dole whip it up. Look at this, right here at Aloha Isle Refreshments, they have the uh, mango. Oh, it's another spicy one. Oh boy. Look at this. This is the uh, Chamoy uh, Mango Dole Whip. And I have a feeling it's gonna be a little bit spicy, <laughs> but we're gonna give it a go. Why does everything gotta be spicy at the party this year? Oh boy, mango uh, dull whip. Oh, not too bad. I always feel like pineapple juice overpowers everything. You know what I mean? So like you can have it a little spicy and the pineapple juice will cover the most. To be honest though, I'm probably only drinking the pineapple like juice at the bottom there. I feel like I need to take a bite from the top. Here we go. Oh, I don't think I like that. I don't think I like that at all. <laughs> Honestly, I don't think I've ever like had a dull Whip float that I couldn't eat, but I don't think I could do this one. I mean, it's not like overly spicy. I just don't like that chamoy on top there and the, the seasoning there. It's a, little, it's a little out of my comfort zone, but I'm glad I tried it. Before the Boo to You parade, the Headless Horseman steps off and takes a ride through the Magic Kingdom. And I think that's like 15 minutes prior, so uh, oh, I think it's happening now. <laughs> He's the greener for Halloween Theater. Beware. The music is what gets me. <laughs> I love that. The Headless Horseman is one of my favorite things about Boo to You. But I also like the music. The music's probably my favorite. Oh, it's starting.
such a great parade and I love seeing all the villains and how they come up to the like the, the rope and actually talk to like guests sitting down there I love it and also the grave diggers I mean uh, the, the the caretakers from the haunted mansion the way they smack the shovels on the ground I can never get I can never get tired of that it's starting to get dark outside and all the spooky up lighting is starting to come alive and the music too Man, I love this. We got a couple of minutes because we already watched the parade and uh, we could probably make our way over to Tomorrowland, see if we can see any characters and do some more trick-or-treating. I think I'm gonna head into Mickey's Fill Her Magic. This is usually where they got a good treat stop. Get lots of candy in here. I love the indoor treat stops because they usually have more than one bin. So you can get double scoops. Trick-or-treat, thanks so much. Happy Halloween. And they're playing uh, the Headless Horseman in here. A lot of spooky uh, movies in Mickey Solar Magic. I like that. You can sit in here and just rest up a little bit. Me, I'm gonna get some more candy. I'm gonna fill this bag. Hey, check a treat. Thank you. Look at that. We're getting there, we're getting there. 
Ariel and Prince Eric are doing meet and greets in front of the Little Mermaid. We're making our way down to Storybook Circus, though. I really love this music, though. I'm starting to crash a little bit because I just got off of a flight from California, like I mentioned. So I hope I can make it the whole night. I mean, I love coming to Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. This is going to be my first one. I also plan on bringing my family because they love coming too. Uh, but I want to show you guys everything and like give you good, like a good look in case you plan on coming. So I'm going to keep powering through in it and like having a good time. Like I said, the only thing that's getting me excited, like my brain is so excited, but my body, my body's starting to say no. <laughs> I think Goofy, Minnie, Daisy, and Donald are all doing a meet and greet over here. So we'll have to try to find them. Oh, I thought I heard the train for a second. I was like, I don't think the train's running. Look at how cute they are. And their Halloween co- I love Donald's pumpkin costume. Goofy's a pirate. That's too cool. And I like the background too. It's a little nice. What's up, Goof? How you doing? I was gonna meet Goofy, Minnie, and Donald, but they stepped off as soon as I got in line, so that means it's gonna be an additional couple minutes, and I wanna make sure I make it to the fireworks, but I'm glad I got to see them, and I like Goofy's new location inside instead of next to the Barnstormer. That's usually my go-to first character of the night. I wanna ride the teacups. This is one of the special ride overlays. They play uh, spooky music, and they add some really cool lighting and smoke, and it looks like it's not that long of a wait. Oh, and Winnie the Pooh's over there meeting with all of his friends. Oh yeah, five minute wait. Look how cool this looks when it lights up. I don't want to spin though. The Mad Hatter and Alice are doing uh, meet and greets along with the Queen of Hearts. Look at that. All right, this is our teacup. We're going in. Like I said, I'm not spinning. I'm just here for the good music. Ooh. Okay, spinning a little bit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I love this. I think we need more fog. <laughs> I put my hands up. I'm done. No more spinning. <laughs> this is great. Oh boy. Oh. Yo, that was great. And look at. The Queen of Hearts! Alright, let's see what's in Cosmic Rays. Looks like they've got a nice little uh, dance party in here. Oh my lord! It's Max! <laughs> oh, oh! I got to see him twice now! Bye, Maxie! <laughs> Coolest guy here. This is the second time I caught Max. He dressed up as Powerline, and I missed him just by seconds. Well, I didn't miss them. Like, I missed the performance, but I get to see him, and I, I, I love it. I think it's so cool how he's just floating around the Magic Kingdom. Now we're going to keep on making our way. I want to check on Space Mountain because they do the ride overlay there where it's just pitch, like, dark in there. Like, there's, you can't see anything, and then it's uh, time for the fireworks. I would show you guys the Space Mountain ride, but there ain't nothing to show. It's like so dark in there, you can't see anything. And I want to look at the wait times while I'm here. Tiana's Bayou Adventure, the virtual queue is closed. Same thing with Tron. Looks like Tron is a 45 minute wait. Everything else is like 20, 30 minutes. I want, oh, Seven Doors Mine Train, only 20 minute wait, look at that. Wow. I also forgot about the Tomorrowland Descendants Dance Party. I kind of miss the Monsters, Inc. God dance party here. They used to have characters out here dancing, but now it's the Descendants. I wonder if any of the Descendants characters come out. 
Space Mountain is only a 30 minute wait, but I want to go out front. I want to get ready for the fireworks. We have 19 minutes and because of these parties, like you don't need to stake out a spot. Now, if you want to see and have a good spot for the parade, you got to go there early, but I usually just show up like five minutes before the fireworks. And I'm pretty good. Look at this. The People Mover is a walk-on right now. Same thing with Buzz Lightyear, Space Ranger over here. Everything's a walk-on. But we got to get to the fireworks. Ooh, that music just turned on pretty loud. They have a gigantic Jack Skellington puppet that's going to be like on the stage of the castle. But I don't want to get too close because I don't want to miss the fireworks and the projections on Main Street. You know what I mean? But the, 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 the puppet's pretty good. We'll, we'll assess this situation when we get up there. We are so terribly excited for you to join us tonight as we celebrate the thrill and the chill of the season. Be sure to keep your eyes open, for you never know what may happen on that the Disney's not some spooky spectacular. You use it just ten minutes. Look at all, they even got uh, merchandise carts. You wouldn't be able to do that during Happily Ever After. Hey, how are you? The best thing about these fireworks is you got a bunch of candy you can snack on while you wait for them. I don't even know what we got in there. We're gonna find something good though.
Fireworks were amazing, and I love that they had the Jack Skeleton like puppet up there. And I love how Mickey and his pals were going on a spooky adventure. Very, very good. Look at how beautiful Main Street is all lit up. I love this. They had the projections on here during the fireworks, but we were up a little bit closer, and I loved them. I thought it was great fireworks. 
now that we got to see the parade earlier, I wanted to come down and check on Jack and Sally and Mickey, see if the wait times went down, because people are gonna be lining up for the parade now. Look at this. Jack and Sally went down to a 25 minute wait, but I don't know if it's actually a 25 minute wait. We'll find out when we get in here. Usually you can see a lot of people all conjugating in the middle. Oh, that don't look like a 25 minute wait. That looks just as busy. Looks like I was a little too late to catch the 20 minute uh, wait for Jack and Sally. I ran into some friends that were in line like near the front and they said that they came in right at the end of fireworks and there was nobody in line. And then once the fireworks ended, everyone flooded in there. And even though it says 25, it's definitely an hour wait. So I think uh, we're gonna have to pass in Jack and Sally this year. Kind of sad, I always see them, but much too busy to, this year, much too busy. The Hocus Pocus Villain Spooktacular was the only thing left on my list that I wanted to do today, but I think I'm just going to have to call it a night and start making our way out. I got lots of candy, and I feel like uh, the jet lag is kicking in for me, so I think we're going to go home. I did love my night tonight, though. Oh, and I want to show you guys how spooky it is out here with the fog. See you real soon. I love everything out here. Look at this ghost with Mickey ears uh, on the ground here. That's so cool. I love that. And then take a look over here. This is where I want to be. And there's hardly anybody out here. They got spider webs on the ground. Man, look at that. Isn't she a beaut? I love Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. Gracie, I'm home, Gracie! Hoo -hoo, what you doing? What? What's up? What you doing, little girl? I thought you'd be upstairs. Not upstairs, huh? Where you going? Where you going? Oh yeah, up on the couch, huh? <laughs> and with that, we are done here today. I had so much fun at Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. A lot of people always ask whether or not it's worth it. If you are a Halloween fan, I would pay the $200 max ticket to go to that every single year. Like I do every single year. And honestly, I do one where I come and I film and then I go and I enjoy it myself because I have so much fun. I love the Boo To You Parade. The fireworks this year were amazing. I love the lasers and the projections and the candy was pretty good i didn't even get us i didn't even get a good look i was snacking on some snacks oh skittles gummies yo this is the good stuff starburst only the pink ones snickers peanut butter m ms yo i got a lot this is good i'm happy I'm, i actually love these skittles uh gummies and uh yeah so I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. It's great to be back in Florida for a little bit. And like I said, I'm going to make a video talking about all the D23 announcements and talking about where they plan on putting uh, the villain's land and obviously some of the sad things like losing Tom Sawyer's island. And uh, yeah, uh, so anywho's, I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.